Hello everyone, this is the Magic Master, and welcome back to Stampy's Sky Island Challenge. And in the last video, we finally completed the challenge of sleeping at night, so we've got ourselves a lovely bed front and centre in our house here, which is still tiny and we should probably expand our house at some point. But that is not the goal for today's video, because today we get to hear a new challenge from Mr. Stampy Cat, and this is going to be challenge number five. Um, hold on. Sorry. Uh, so this is going to be number, challenge number five, so I'm going to um, stop talking and let Stampy tell us the new challenge. So, let's hear it. I hope you had a good night's sleep because today you're going to be doing some demolition. For challenge number five, you need to detonate TNT. And I strongly recommend you do it as far away from your house and your valuables as possible. Go have some fun with explosives. You. Are. Joking. I said this in the last video, didn't I? I specifically said, I hope he doesn't say that you have to make TNT. Because that means we have to unlock the creeper. So, let's put everything away. Other than my sword. And we'll keep one extra torch on the quite probable chance that I forget to pick one up. So, we have to make some TNT. So we got plenty of sand. Hopefully, so sand won't be a problem. But gunpowder might be. I don't need to go down this way. I forgot. Um. So we're going back up into my mob spawner super machine here. And we might even be able to do this in just one video because all we have to do now is prep to open up the creeper one for business. It's just about ready to go, and then we actually have to open it and immediately close it again. Shoot! Two spawned. Well, that, that didn't go very well. So I'm going to have to um, call up a little bit more magic and make a separate creeper spawner that isn't going to destroy the world. See you in a second. And we're back. And I do have a backup backup in case this doesn't work, but it's going to require me to skip ahead again. But hopefully it does. So we've added the creeper chamber. Shoot, I never fixed the roof. I forgot to fix the roof. Oh well. We've added the creeper chamber right here, a very dangerous chamber, but we're going to see, we're going to risk entering it, here we go. Right, flick the door closed, take a security lever, prep the creeper for activation, actually let's open the door, and then be ready to close it, okay? Break that lever. Shoot, I'm gonna break that lever. Oh no. I didn't think this through. Okay, there we go. Now back up. Is it is it broken? I don't understand. Why are no creepers spawning? Did I miss a torch? Did I make the room too small? Do I need to use plan B? Right, skipping to plan B, skipping ahead again in 3, 2, 1, skip. And we're back yet again. So, let's um activate the creeper spawner. Okay, you're gonna punch it, run away. Luckily, that didn't actually fail. I mean, we lost the button, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, a new, new, new plan. This is our third new plan today, I think. We're gonna go somewhere where I'm pretty sure no creepers will ever have a chance to attack us. It's the worst idea I've had all day. There's our creeper-proof vault. Ow. Okay, that failed. We're going to go into the lake, where creepers, even if they explode, won't destroy anything. We're going to have to do this. We've got the creeper spawn eggs from my super creeper in here, which also kind of completely failed. I guess if I fall from here... 
I think that's doable. I think we can do that. Or we can even just go in from the um, creeper spawner on top of the creeper spawner right now. Because I just, I need to like, do this somewhere safe, you know? Somewhere big and safe where I'm not going to be destroyed. And if that means I have to break some rolls, I might have to break some rolls. Right, here we go. There's a creeper right there. Shoot, how far away from creepers do I need to be? Like, I don't even know if this is actually doable anymore. Okay, so from here I'm not close enough, from there I am. Wait for it to climb. Okay. Even plan double backup triple didn't work. I know there's gonna be a creeper up there waiting for me, so I need to be I need to walk off the edge, is what I was going to say. Now so I need to be ready for this creeper, who I know is gonna be up there waiting for me. Ready to explode and ruin thousands and thousands of Sky Island lives. There is said creeper. Right, jump over to him. Punch him. Back off, back off, back off before. How the heck do I, like, continually jump off an island when fighting this creeper? Okay. This is gonna be very tough. I'm not allowed to collect any of the things from that room anymore yet because I cheated. But... Well. Creeper Protection Facility recommends dealing with only one creeper a year. I've dealt with like five in a day, so that isn't good. And none of them have successfully been taken out. Because they're just the worst monsters. Like, it's my, it's my official opinion, creepers are the worst Minecraft monsters. And if you disagree with me, you're wrong. Right, so back off. Spawn creeper back off. SHOOT! Drowned is cheating. No drowned allowed. Shoot, I touched the ground, get back in the water. Adding in drowned is absolutely cheating. I wish I could play on an old version of Minecraft that doesn't feature the drowned, but I can't. He has a bow and arrow. Shoot him on ground, I just gotta die now. <sighs> New plan. New and improved plan goes as follows. Step one. Break into house. Step two. Grab trusty friend wood. Not gonna need that much. That should do. Step three. Start climb to the top of the world. Did I say question three? I meant step three. Right, after falling off said thing, ladder is now right here, which is why I totally intentionally fell off there. Let's climb to about the height of the mob spawner, I reckon should be high enough. Ow, unless I fall off. We don't want it to be too, too high, but we need it to be just high enough that the creeper is going to have a bad day. Because we want creepers to have a bad day, because they are mean to us and make us have bad days. Oh, that was close. Okay. Wait right there. Shift. How the heck do I fall off when I am shifting? It literally exists to stop you from falling off. So how can I fall off? What the, where the heck did the wood go? Okay, that's fine. We can deal with a wood block there. We can climb onto it. Now, don't fall off. There we go. Bring it around here. Bring it out. This is walking the plank, as they used to say in old movies that aren't that old, but that they sometimes say. Here is our creeper drop off stop. Here's how it works spawn your creeper, punch your creeper off the block. Your creeper isn't supposed to survive that fall. That's fine though, we'll just have to advance out by maybe three more. And ignore the creeper that currently lives in my world now. Thanks to my dumbness. Okay. Spawn your creeper. Punch creeper off. Creeper still survives fall. 
So we need a new new plan, which involves heightening the limit, like that. Punch creeper off. Creeper successfully dra dies, drops gunpowder. Final step, fight creepers that are left over. Hopefully weak. Nope, creepers in my house. We cannot have that. Wait for it to climb out, because it will, because it's a dumb creeper. Die. Okay. We've got two gunpowder. I'm pretty not sure we need five. But we've also got the creeper attack system in place to destroy all creepers. Thanks to the creeper prevention um, company who have provided us with the anti-creeper plank for all of your dangerous creeper problems. If you need gunpowder, no problem. Just use the creeper plank. 5,000. Spawn creeper. Punch creeper off. Creeper guaranteed to die. And just feed you all of your gunpowder. So let's kill a few more, and then let's head downstairs to see how it went. Creeper prevention program. Destroying creepers every day. And that's their official jingle. I'm going to go down the slightly safer way. By completely missing my jump. Um, I'm going to see how much gunpowder was left. That's seven. I think that might be enough. Hold on, because I'm pretty sure how you make a piece of TNT is you would go like this. That's enough. Okay. Hold on. Now we need some sand, which I'm going to replace immediately with wood. So let's just mine down here and collect some lovely... Lovely. Shoot, I need to grab that. Some lovely, lovely sand before it goes crazy. There actually are diamonds down there, so when I if I need diamonds ever, we're gonna be in trouble. Um, can we make a piece of TNT? I've just realized we'll still have to make a flint and steel. We'll deal with that problem in a minute. I just realized I put those guys in the wrong place as well. Um, how are we gonna make a flint and steel though? Okay, here's our TNT. Flint and steel needs flint and steel. Needs an iron ingot. I used all my iron ingots, didn't I? So guess what, guys? We're going to be given the gift of one single iron ingot. Thank you for giving us the gift of one single iron ingot. Because we messed up, and we shouldn't have. Oh well, too late now. Now, flint, we have one piece of gravel. And all we need to make this work is one piece of gravel. Very lucky, as it is exactly what we need. Um, do I not have my axe on me? Did it break? Oh, I think I just put it away in here for safekeeping. Let's destroy this. Honestly, having a tree this close to my house is very irritating. So I might not put the sapling back right away. But then we can put the sapling back when we actually need said sapling when we need another tree because right now I am so so bored of this irritating thing. This might be just one of those few challenges that we actually get done in just one video. I'm destroying some leaves just because I want to be able to get into my house for once. I can never get into my own house because it's covered by trees but if I don't put back down the sapling there will be no trees that cover it. Okay there we go. Now flint and steel. Gravel to get destroyed a bunch until you become crop until you become flint my gravel is broken why is my gravel not becoming flint shouldn't it have done this by now like I can't just put a piece of gravel in my inventory and get flint can I is flint in my Flint and steel is, which requires a piece of flint, and to my knowledge the only way you can get flint is by doing this. I could grab a shovel to make it go faster, I don't know if that would help. Do you have any stone? No, but we do have a pickaxe so we can mine some stone. I need a grand total of one piece, it's going to be very difficult to get that whole one piece before the end of the year. I will try my best. Do we do it? We did. Grab some sticks make myself a lovely stone shovel. 
and get back to work at talking to this piece of gravel in a polite way until eventually it becomes flint. Do -do 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 -do. Mining gravel, do -do 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 -do. it's not that exciting, do -do 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 -do. hoping that one day it will grow up into a piece of flint. Yay, okay. So now let's do this and this. We've got ourselves a lovely flint and steel. Now let's find a good old place to drop it. Let's drop it right about here. Alright, put it put it to the side. It's gonna fall, right? Shoot that failed. What the heck? Why isn't it lighting? Oh, I've got fire spread off, don't I? Game roll. Oh, there we go. That. Can we see it go boom? Well, you can see the result I made. So we did it. So let's end this video, but before we do, let's hear our challenge for next video so that we know what we're going to get into. So, if we go on to challenge 6, let's see what challenge 6 is going to be. So, transitioning back to the Stumpy cam right about now, and we'll see what Stumpy has to tell us for our final, not for our final, there's like 10 challenges I think, for our next challenge. Congratulations for completing challenge number five. Hopefully nothing got too destroyed in the blast, but luckily for you, we are now on one of the easiest challenges on this entire list. Easy. All you need to do is eat a cooked fish, and it's uh, pretty much as simple as it sounds. So what? good luck and enjoy your meal. Cool. So you know what I said about doing that next video? Let's just have an extra long video, because I feel like we could probably do that in this video. So, plus, I feel like I don't get to play Minecraft with you guys enough now, so let's just do an extra long one. Yeah, are we okay with that? I mean, I'm asking myself. I am okay with that. Cool, let's do it. Okay, so, to make a fishing rod, I know I need string. Oh, right, I need a crafting table. Duh. Um, fishing rod. I need sticks and string. Sticks is easy. String is also not hard. So, it's not easy, but it's not hard. We only need two string. So let's head back up to my marvelous mob spawner. Um, I love that marvelous mob spawner. That is officially the name of this place. This is the marvelous mob spawner. Um, and let's unlock the spider spawning section. Look at that! I'm like doing all sorts of alliteration today. It's called alliteration, right? I think so. All right, unlocking it now. One spawns right away, as expected. I only need two. I should probably put my torches right in my inventory, ready to go. Where's the second one? We know it's coming. There it is! Oh, I've already got my two string, I don't need any more. Hold on then, lock this thing up. Deactivate it for another little while. Actually, can I put these creeper eggs back safely inside the dispenser in the creeper destruction facility? Which doesn't really work because creepers just destroy the facility. Um, then lock it back up for ever and ever so no one can ever get to it again. Let's make a fishing rod. Um, I can actually, I can't do that from here, I need a crafting table. So let's just drop down here, make a fishing rod, do a little bit of fishing. Um, gonna need a few more sticks but that's not a problem. And then I'm pretty sure it's just like this. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how you make it. Yep, fishing rod, okay. Now, for the long part. Look at that 3D, like... I don't think it used to be 3D. Well, actually, let's do it in a slightly bigger pond, because I don't know how big the pond needs to be for it to work. Oh, I think someone's tugging on it. It might just be the rain. Hold on. Let's do a little bit of magic here. It's actually night time, but I can fix that without a bit of magic, because we finally, finally have a bed to sleep in. So let's close our eyes, have a nap, wake up early in the morning, and head right back off to work. Close you, th throw you into the ocean, and we will begin our fishing day. Maybe the most peaceful challenge we've done all um, the entire time. No chance of anything burning or blowing up. We just gotta sit here and fish. Hopefully this pond is big enough. I don't know how big the pond needs to be. What's that? That's an enchanting book with silk touch and sharpness. We're definitely keeping that. I don't think we can use it while we're above the ground, but 
We can, we're still keeping it because that's an awesome find. It is not, however, a fish. So. La 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 We're still close enough, it's actually February for you guys now. We're still close enough for me for it to still make sense to sing that um song from the other side. That's a raw salmon, that's what we need. Chuck it in the furnace, and you can have our spare level. No, you can't apparently. You can have a piece of wood or two to help you cook that piece of fish. Well then just get a little bit hungry, eat it, and we'll have completed two challenges in one video, which is awesome. And then we'll even get to see what the next challenge will be, just like before. You'll get to see what we'll be doing next video. So, now I'm just gonna get hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm very hungry, clearly. Oh, I'm just sprinting around in circles here. There we go, we're hungry. Okay, let's do it. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. We did it! Woo! That's two challenges in one video! Everyone celebrate! Okay, so let's see what the challenge is going to be for next video, which is why we went black again. As I just set this up, because I didn't expect to finish two challenges in one video. Um, our next challenge is ready to go, so let's hand it over once again to Mr. Stampy Cat to tell us what our next challenge will be. Challenge number seven. Now that you're well fed, it's time to get back to the senseless murdering. In challenge number seven, all you need to do is kill an animal. And by animal, I mean a cow, a sheep, or a pig. Mobs don't count. But remember, you're not allowed to go to floor level. You've got to stay on your sky island. So that's all you've got to do. Go kill an animal, and I'll be very happy. Good luck! I mean, unfortunately he didn't say a chicken, because I know we've got a chicken on the island. I'm pretty sure we have a sheep too, though. I'm pretty sure this will be another super easy challenge that I can do in this same video. Yup. Right. This video is going to be 3 and 1, that's what it's going to be called. We had the 2 and 1 a while ago, 3 and 1, we just did it, we defeated the sheep. Right, stamps. I think you're going a bit too easy on us. I'm actually like excited for a slightly harder challenge now. So, we're on to challenge number 8, we just did 3 and 1 video. So, what is challenge number 8? Why don't you um, let us all know? I didn't like plan this, I promise. Well done for getting this far, seeing as you've been doing so well in all of the past challenges, it's time to ramp up the difficulty a bit. Yeah. For challenge number well, eight, think. you need to recover a ghast tier. Oh no. So you just need to get a ghast tier in your inventory, and then you've completed challenge number eight. So get your sword ready, and good luck. Well, I'll tell you one thing, it wasn't kidding about ramping up the difficulty, it's not as simple as killing a sheep. Um... So that's what we'll be doing next video. We will be going underneath the island to try and collect some obsidian. So, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, Team Challenge!